Your Steve Jones Show podcast is loading now. The Steve Jones Show podcast is sponsored by Sunbury Motors, North 4th Street in Sunbury, and Sunbury Motors Kia, routes 11 and 15 in Hummel's Wharf. Sports talk where your voice counts. This is the Steve Jones Show on News Radio 1070 WKOK. Now from the Sunbury Motor Studio, here's Steve Jones. Sunbury Motors, 4th Street in Sunbury. Sunbury Motors, Kia Routes 11 and 15 in Hummel's Wharf. Tomorrow, Emily Kaplan, ESPN.com on the NHL expansion to Seattle. Also tomorrow, Andrew Callahan, MassLive.com on the Patriots as they get ready for the Steelers. We'll have that coming up for you tomorrow. So a big weekend. And uh, Joe Giglio tomorrow from the Raleigh News and Observer on North Carolina State basketball as they get ready to take on Penn State in Atlantic City. I'll be uh, leaving for Atlantic City tomorrow. The game will be at 2 o'clock on Saturday. Don't forget Santa tonight from 6 to 7. Every, uh, I mean, it's the equivalent. See, Sugar Let Me Basketball tonight will be like the TV show Wings, which had Cheers as a lead in. All right, uh, let's uh, get to the play by play call of the day. The Blackhawks snap an eight game losing streak. Malkin comes out of the box. He put it in behind the net. Martinson in to claim it. Martinson put it in front. They score! A bang, bang pass. Martinson to Kruger at the top of the crease, and he pounds it past to Smith. The Blackhawks retake the lead on the Penguins at 4-3. to three. And for Martinson, a goal and an assist here tonight. Kruger slams it home. 4-3 Hawks. Put him in front to stay. They added two more. One at 6-3. to three. All right. Yeah, that was tough. Penn's had 43 shots on last night. Brian Rust with a hat trick and lose to the team in the NHL with the worst record. Time now for an annual rite of passage. Yeah. Time now to make our bowl picks. There will be no running to Grantville, to Penn National, to the newly opened sportsbook saying, I heard on this show, no, 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 no. Entertainment purposes only. It's your money. (laughs) Okay. With that, we bring in Mr. Connecticut himself, Mr. South Windsor, the king. What up? How's it going? It's going great. We also have... The Prince of Lock Haven, Sean Carey. You betcha. Someone's got to take down the four-time, 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 four-time defending college bull prediction Steve Jones Show champion here on the other side of the glass, the suit Kevin Hur. One for the thumb. You think? There you go. Yeah. One for the thumb. Nah. I tell you, sure. Kevin, we got a tough time this year. My wow moment of the week was Sean picking Chicago. And winning last <laughs> week. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I just sat that, there and tough. told my wife, I can't believe Sean took Chicago and won. That was the swing game. So, yeah, the, you guys uh, were four and two. I was five and one. That was the swing game. At, at that, that point, was a you, great pick. The best pick in the three years we've been doing it. At that so, point, you reevaluate the whole season. He just got it nailed this year, man. So, good job. Good job. 66 and 21, but still, the season isn't wow. over. The season is not over yet. <laughs> I didn't realize. You notice he snuck in the 66 and 21, though. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's because it probably will not happen again in the history of this show. <laughs> That's Vegas material, man. Wow. Uh, I'm actually nervous. I might have to research money. some more. <laughs> Your streak's over. The more this I, is I research, the worse I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to a bear could be a lion in a fight, you know. That, that, <laughs> that was uh, my favorite an- <laughs> That was my favorite <laughs> analytics that you put together on. That was the best. <laughs> so, but anyway, some of them you got to leave it alone because people will be offended. So, well, listen, the key to bull picks is you got to be good from December 15th this year to the 26th. If you can almost run the table there, you're all right. That's where I do my best is in the early days. And then everything kind of falls apart in the middle. Well, there are a lot of upsets and stuff. You 
know, you can't predict fumbles. You can't predict penalties. You can't predict stuff like that. That's and thing. You got to meander and maneuver the through the upsets. Haven't played in weeks, you know. So a lot of teams mature from November, the end of November to the end of December. They suddenly take a, that step forward, and some teams don't. You know, so it's, it's kind of a hard pick sometimes. Speaking of hard pick, first one here right out of the shoot. That's not hard at all. Really? No. Well, I'm just hoping you put all your time and effort and preparation in the bull pick segment for this one game. The Celebration the Bowl. The Celebration Bowl. High noon on Saturday in Atlanta. North Carolina A&T versus Alcorn State. So we got a MEAC swack matchup. Listen, North Let's Ca- go first. <laughs> <laughs> North Carolina A&T. Oh, I'm taking North he Carolina A&T. It. Just mark it down. <laughs> just, I'm going with North Carolina A&T. Why is now, it the ladies and gentlemen, now, 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 now we've got five minutes of gibberish. Go ahead. <laughs> Listen, North Carolina A&T is good enough to play in the FCS tournament. They choose not to to go to the Celebration Bowl. Alcorn State, good football team, not good enough to beat North Carolina A&T. North Carolina A&T could make a run in the FCS if they decided to. They will win the Celebration Bowl. North Carolina A&T. See, this is my wheelhouse me. right here. <laughs> this game is my wheelhouse. After that, you know, it's it's kind of up in the well, air. What was it last year, two years ago? Was it Arkansas State? Yeah, well, it was North Carolina A&T last year, too. Okay. King? Alcorn. All right. <laughs> just, to be, just to pick somebody opposite. <laughs> I like the name. <laughs> Let me guess, you had an epiphany. If you could tell me, yeah. where, if you could tell me where it's located, you get, a, you get to make the pick. <laughs> and Alcorn. Close right. enough. <laughs> okay. All right. Nap time over for the host of the show. So we have oh, one, okay, one, two, okay. Are we done with that one? Yeah, we're done with that. I know yeah. I made. I, I know I made my pick right after the play-by-play call of the day. It's four twelve now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's five. one down and yeah. thirty-nine to go. That's right. Who did everyone take? I took North Carolina and T. Yeah, you're on Bef- your own with before, Alcorn. Before we get the massive again. analysis about North Carolina A&T, in which you got several people right now going, when's the Mannheim Steamroller channel? All right, go ahead. <laughs> New Mexico Bowl, North Texas and Utah State. Love Utah State. Me too. I, I, I'm with Utah State as well. Okay. That, that, I don't even know if that's going to be close. All right. King? I got North Texas. All right. You're off and cooking here. Well, against <laughs> us on both of them so far. Uh, All right. The Cure Bowl, Tulane and Louisiana. <laughs> I've got Louisiana. I- I'm taking, I'll take Louisiana. <laughs> I'm taking Tulane and the ugliest logo I've ever seen. King. So suits got the, I got Tulane. Okay. We're split on that one then. Okay. Kevin and Kevin Tulane, me and Steve, Louisiana. Camellia Bowl, Eastern Michigan, and Georgia Southern. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I looked at this one for a while. I went with Georgia Southern on this one. I, this was this was a difficult one. But I've looked at none of them. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're you're missing a few rings in this championship. No, I have I have rings. <laughs> Just trying up from doing this stuff. <laughs> but I have rings. Believe me. Uh, <laughs> They're in a drawer, but I've got them. <laughs> I'm going to take Georgia Southern. I got Eastern Michigan. Okay, and that leaves Steve, us with who Steve. do you got? Okay. I think he picked a tie. The who? I think I think Steve picked a tie. <laughs> a tie? Yeah. I, oh, I, I come on. Pick. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Matt Shepard announces he announces Eastern Michigan. Matty's a really good friend of mine. I'm going to go with Eastern Michigan in the Matt Shepard Bowl. Okay. All right, we're split on that game as well. New Orleans Bowl, Appalachian State and Middle Tennessee State. App State gone. I App State, no question. Me too. Me too. Four, we all got App. All four for App State. The Las Vegas Bowl. We've got a great coaching matchup: Herm Edwards versus Jeff Tedford. We got Arizona State and Fresno State. The point. <laughs> <laughs> 
is to win the game. Hello. <laughs> win the game. No. Not well, good we enough. gotta make a pick. Yeah, Sean, go ahead. You I'm go gonna first. go with Fresno State. Yeah, and I got Fresno as well. I got Fresno. Okay. Everybody loves Fresno because, of course, they went up and they beat Boise State. Oh my God! Arizona they're eleven and two. Arizona State seven and five. And, and Arizona. I'm State's going with Arizona State. State. They've only looked good at Who half is the Josh? games. Sue. I'm Steve is going with Arizona State. I'm the only one that's going with Arizona State. Steve is. Yes. Right. I'm the only one going with Arizona State. Rest of us, there Fresno you go. State. Good okay. pick. Boca Raton Bowl. We've got UAB and Northern Illinois. Of course, uh, UAB finally brought their football program back, what, two years ago, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going with UAB. Yeah, I was really close to going with UAB in this one, but I, I like Northern Illinois. Okay. I got UAB. I'm going with UAB. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad pick. I, I was really waffling on that one because UAB has played well this year. Mm, waffles. They play very well. They got a lot of speed. Northern Illinois. I've listened to a. I haven't really watched them, but I've listened to a couple of their games, including the MAC championship. I was listening mm-hmm. to that driving down to Maryland. Eh. Buffalo should have beat them. They put out some good NFL players. Yeah. No. They're a good program. By the way, the Boca Raton Bowl, that'll be played next week on Tuesday the 18th. Wednesday the 19th, it is the Frisco Bowl, Ohio, and San Diego State. Well, I always like San Diego State. I think Rocky Long does a great job. I know Frank Solich does too, but you know what? MAC teams don't usually do well in bowl games. And I know I already picked Eastern Michigan, so I've, I've pretty much gone to my limit on the MAC. <laughs> okay, so Steve has San Diego State. I will take Ohio. I got San Diego State as well. Well, I roll the keg of beer to Ohio. Oh, I remember that story. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I absolutely roll the keg of beer a hundred a hundred miles. Um, I don't remember a lot of it. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> was it full or empty? <laughs> when you it, it, got, it, it got lighter as he went. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking it got easier as he got close to the end. Oh, boy, that was a fun time. Mile 51 um, to 100, it was all downhill. Yeah, it was cool. We had a police escort. Uh, but I got San Diego. No, no, no. no. So. What, what is it Steve Just, always says? No, it's always, not an escort when they're behind okay. you? Okay, let me put it this way. Okay, Everyone's got San escort, Diego? Yeah. Always remember, the police escort is actually always supposed to be in front of you. It's not supposed to be behind <laughs> right, that's you. That's what it is. Yeah, that's the way it goes. <laughs> we thought it was a police escort. <laughs> <laughs> a message from this station and the ad council. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, Steve and, Steve and Kevin took San Diego State. King, you and I took Ohio. Okay? Or did you, I took Ohio. Sean's got Ohio. I've got Ohio. I mean, Kevin's got Ohio. Suits got San Diego State. Steve's got oh, yeah. San Diego State. Yeah, there's too many Kevin's on this program right now. I know. I'm getting really messed up here. Okay, We're now gonna call you Steve Kinger. took Ohio. King, did you take Ohio? I took San Diego. Okay, well, I'm the only one that took Ohio. Okay. All right, we got that straight. All right, now All right. Good. Thursday the 20th, Gasparilla Bowl. It's Marshall and South Florida. What is a Gasparilla? I don't know. I know what a Sasquatch is. Because it's a cheese it bowl, too. So. <laughs> Can't go wrong with cheeses. I'm going with South Florida. I have Marshall. I'm going to go with my friend Doug Birdsong's alma mater there. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with Marshall. We are Marshall. I can't make up. I got Marshall. So everyone yell who that is. Steve, you got. I have South Florida. All right. Steve South and I Florida. have South Florida. The suit and the king have Marshall. All right, next Friday, the 21st, if there's one college bowl game you'd want to do, the Bahamas Bowl? <laughs> nah, you know what? I talk, Matt, I mentioned Eastern Michigan and Matt Shepard before. Well, they were in the Bahamas Bowl two years ago, and I said to Matt, because Matt does Michigan basketball, and I think Matt's got a good shot at getting the Tigers job. But, um, and I said, what was it like? He said, Steve, they flew us in the night before we did the game and we left. <laughs> wow, that's wow. no fun at all. At least they gave you time in Cancun last month for the hoops. 
Yeah. Man. So the Bahamas Bowl next Friday the 21st is Toledo and Florida International. Again, I'm going to stick with my theory on the MAC, and I'm going to take I, – I know I took Eastern Michigan, but MAC doesn't usually do well in bowl games, so I'm going to go with FIU. I'm going to go with Toledo. I, I, you know, Steve's theory with the Mac is is right on, but I like Toledo on this one. Okay, King. I got Toledo. All right, everybody with Toledo except for Steve. Okay, yeah, Next. there's only one winner in the group. Right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Also next Friday. Really? What makes this week so much different than the other ones? <laughs> Say that when there's one more day left in the week. <laughs> I mean, the my goodness. Not real high, so, I yeah. mean, Jamie, Jamie's draw, jaw just dropped to the table. What? <laughs> As we head into the day where you park your car facing out toward the road, that's tomorrow. <laughs> next Friday, the 21st, also, we have... The Idaho Potato Bowl, Brigham Young and Western Michigan. I'm going with BYU. Me too. BYU. Okay. Me and, too. All right. All Man, f- you got to really suck not to make a bowl game, huh? <laughs> 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 I mean, my God, the cheese Bowl, the Potato Bowl, the... Okay, I'm done. Next year, all, I have to do is come up with, all I have to do is come up with a couple of million dollars and I can have the Kevin Herr Bowl. There you I go. Think we, I think we'd call it the Lay Soup Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the only, the only... It'll have Alcorn State and whoever else. <laughs> It'll be yeah. two FCS schools, yes. Lay Soup Bowl. Why is that game on the cooking channel? <laughs> yes, but... No, it's Lay Creuset. That's the name of the cookware. Well, I mean, it's to... just tremendous. We're on Food Network. <laughs> I get to call it. That's the only caveat. I, I don't get... Everything else is fine. I get to call it. It would just Pretty be like that. Be that it... ship and Joanna Gaines Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear I could hear it now, just like in the great movie Animal House. Right. The rating was zero point zero. <laughs> <laughs> the fixer upper bowl. <laughs> the fixer upper bowl. There you go. Saturday the twenty second, the Birmingham Bowl. It's Memphis and Wake Forest. There's gonna be a lot of plays running that game. Oh, a boy. lot of plays. Yeah. I'm going to go with Memphis. I'm going to take Wake Forest. Yeah, I, I'm taking Wake Forest on that one, too. I got Wake Forest. Okay. All right, another standalone moment. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's just great. <laughs> also on Saturday, the 22nd, the Armed Forces Bowl. It is 10-win team Army versus Houston. Boy, I'd love to see Army win this game. I know Ed Oliver's not going to play. But I think Houston, in the end, is a little bit too much firepower. Go Army. Yeah, I, I think Houston's going to stumble in this one. I'm going with Army. Okay. King. I got Army. <laughs> well, a little standalone, too, there for Jonesy. This is three now for me, where I'm alone as the lone wolf in the wilderness. On an island. Howling, howling win. at the moon. That's how you win or how you lose. Right. <laughs> I'd like to look at it that way personally, but you know. All right. So we're not so we're not talking about the Buffalo basketball team that's currently ranked in the top twenty five. How about that? Uh, Dollar General Bowl Buffalo football. It's Buffalo and Troy. Penn State plays Buffalo next year, as a matter of fact. That's right. Uh they blew the Mac championship game. I know Troy's very good. I'm going to pick, I mean, again, this goes against again, my Mac stuff, but I'm going to pick Buffalo. I'm going with Troy. You are right on both uh, parts of that, Steve. They did blow that opportunity, and I'm going to go with Coach Hort's alma mater, Buffalo. I got Troy. Okay. Split on that one. Also on Saturday the 22nd, the Hawaii Bowl. Imagine this, Hawaii versus Louisiana Tech. Certainly cuts down on the travel expenses. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Isn't this their 17th trip to the Hawaii Bowl? I say they play yeah. into this one every year. <laughs> I mean, they don't have to change the end zones. Do you call uh, it a trip if you just walk across the uh, the street? Or <laughs> Sure. For them, yeah. yeah. I mean, they probably, the NCAA probably gives them a travel stipend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It's seven steps to the front door of the yeah. stadium. Um, yeah. here's, here's a quarter. <laughs> Yeah, it's the one player in the meeting room. We get our five fifty, right? <laughs> I will take I will take the home team Hawaii. 
I will do the same. Listen, when you're playing in Hawaii, Hawaii is your gift already. You don't need a bowl game anyway, but they win this one. King. I got Hawaii. All right, all four of us Why out. can't Penn State play Hawaii? Uh, actually, I was on the pregame show on the Illinois Network in 2012, and they asked me who the 12th team in the Big Ten should be. They were looking for a 12th team at the time, and I said, Hawaii. <laughs> they said, nice. well, I, they said, well, no, we're serious. I said, so am I. I said, first of all, I said, if the Cowboys can be in the NFC East, Hawaii can be in the Big Ten East. <laughs> I said, which point. means we're guaranteed every other year playing them out there. I said, and in basketball, we get to go out there. So there could be some years we go out there twice. I said, you people want to bring in somebody like Nebraska where we freeze to death. I'm trying to do this for the good of the conference. <laughs> and you can bring your favorite brother. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> your only brother. <laughs> it's, that's how you ascend to number one. <laughs> All right, getting close I want to, to the... get a lay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting close to the bottom of the hour. We'll knock a few more out here quick. Boston College and Boise State, they will play on Wednesday. December the 26th in the first responder bowl. I'll go with defense. I'll take Boston College. I will do the same. Boston College has disappointed me every time this year. I've got a chance to watch them. I'm going Boise. Well, imagine how we felt. <laughs> but Boston College played in some big games this year and failed. So yep. I got Boise. All right. So. Suit and Kevin take Boise State. Uh, Quick Lane Bowl, also a day after Christmas. It is Minnesota against Georgia Tech. Paul Johnson's final game with the Yellow Jackets. I'm not big on Georgia Tech. And Minnesota got better the last month of the season. They're also on Penn State schedule next year, too, as a crossover game. I'm going to take Minnesota. I'm going with Georgia Tech. Yeah, I got Georgia Tech, too, and that means the uh, governor's victory bell comes back. Yeah, big deal. But, you know, <laughs> I knew win. you'd be excited. <laughs> just, just, just win the game. I hate those trophy games. Oh, we got a chance. Of, like, oh, my goodness. Pull the players. Do we, they even know it exists? The 782-pound land grant trophy. Oh, my goodness. I knew to you'd me, say the, that. To, to me, the loser ought to get to keep that. <laughs> I won both of those in NCAA football years ago. <laughs> Minnesota, Georgia Tech, King, who you got? <laughs> Georgia Tech. Wow, uh, Steve Stanton is alone on that one. Okay. <laughs> I Our, am going down in flames. Uh, <laughs> this is great. This is the King's favorite bowl game right here. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get two more in before the bottom of the hour. Cheese it Bowl. Cheese it Bowl. TCU be and Cal. You kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> My God, the Trisket Bowl. Is, you know, <laughs> That's next the year. The Oreo Cookie Bowl. The Pecan Sandy oh. Bowl. Oh, Ooh. I want to go to that. I would one. go to that one. Well, yeah. Knock it till you try it, pal. Come on. <laughs> Reese's Pieces Bowl. Oh, I would go to that one. It was too. the That's Brewers Outlet Pickle Bowl. You wouldn't be complaining. <laughs> they would be playing there you that. Go. They now could play talking. that at a Hershey Park Stadium, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cheese It Bull. I've got TCU. TCU, even though that's a tough game to pick. Uh, I will take uh, Cal. Okay. King? I got Cal. Okay. And one more here before the break. Uh, Independence Bowl on Thursday, the 27th. Temple and Duke. Duke. I also will take the fighting David Cutcliffe's. Ed Foley has them running through a wall right now, but I'm still going to go with Duke. King. I got Duke. Everyone got Duke. Everybody's got Duke. Okay. And the cheese at Bowl, what did I miss? We are split. Um, Kevin and me. No. Kevin and Sean have and I, TCU. You and your brother have Cal. Okay. All right. And not only that, I'm picking cheddar for my Cheez-Its. I like white cheddar myself, but you know. oh, those are good. Yeah. I'm not allowed to eat any of that crap. When it comes to car buying, there's the other guy's way, and then there's the SMC way. The other guys force you into a vehicle you really don't want. The Subway Motors way lets you take the time you need to browse, ask questions, and take the test drive and think on it. For over 100 years, the Merth family and all their employees have made your experience the most pleasant one you'll ever have. The other guys won't offer you the best price for your trade, no matter how much they say they will. The SMC way is their promise to provide you with the most money the market shows your vehicle's worth. The SMC way is to offer you all 
applicable factory rebates on new vehicles and generous discounts. Looking for a pre-owned vehicle? The SMC Way checks each vehicle in a 200-mile radius to determine the lowest price, then beat it. It's the lowest price promise, just part of the SMC Way. The choice is up to you, the other guy's way or the SMC Way. The SMC Way wins every time. Sunbury Motors Company in the North 4th Street Auto Plaza, Sunbury, and at sunburymotors.com. Selling more cars and satisfying more customers for over 100 years. Taking your calls at 800-795-9565. This is the Steve Jones Show on News Radio 1070 WKOK. Now from the Sunbury Motors Studio, here's Steve Jones. Great to have you with us. Brought to you by Sunbury Motors, 4th Street in Sunbury. Sunbury Motors, Key Roads 11 and 15 in Hummel's Wharf. Uh, tomorrow on the show, we'll have Andrew Callahan, MassLive.com, and the Patriots Steelers. Also tomorrow, Emily Kaplan, ESPN.com on NHL Expansion. And also tomorrow, Joe Giglio on North Carolina State Basketball. They play Penn State Saturday in Atlantic City. Our picks now continue with the King, Sean, and an unidentified flying object. That's you. I'm staring at you. Oh, I I wasn't sure. Yep, that'd be you. Oh, okay. (laughs) All right, so we got an Orange Bowl rematch from last year. On Thursday the 27th in the Pinstripe Bowl, it is Whiskey, Wisconsin, the Badgers, and Miami. I'm going to go with Miami. I just really have not been all that impressed with Wisconsin this year. Yeah, I had Miami and then realized where this game was played and then went Wisconsin. Okay, I see your thinking there. So, Steve, well, you, you got you, Miami? You, you'd be the first. Um, I'm, going, <laughs> uh, I'm going with Wisconsin. Miami is not very good this year. Wisconsin isn't either. But my, But you know what's interesting about this game? Is that Miami going up to play it at Yankee Stadium... Miami is not doing well in recruiting in Florida. They've actually shifted a lot of their look now to New Jersey and New York. That's what's interesting about this. Yeah. Well, I would, too. I want to play in Miami instead of New Jersey or New York. It's warmer there. And, uh... Sud and Steve have Wisconsin. I take Miami. King, who you got? I got Wisconsin. All right. I'm standing alone on that one. Then. All right. Also Thursday, the 27th, the Texas Bowl. We've got Baylor and Vandy. I'm going to take Vanderbilt. I, I yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to take Va- I'm going to take Vanderbilt, even though I'm rooting for Baylor because Matt rules from State College. That's so. right. I, I flipped a coin and took Baylor. I got Vanderbilt. Okay, Kevin flying alone on on Baylor. Friday the 28th, the Music City Bowl. It's Auburn and Purdue. Who? Which one took Baylor? That was me. Kevin. Suit, suit, yeah. suit took yeah. Baylor. Everybody sounds the same. The voices. So. <laughs> I'll, I don't I'll know think if that's I'm, a compliment or a put down. I'm not sure. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. So, okay. Go ahead. Auburn, Purdue, Music City Bowl. I'm going to go with Auburn. I have Auburn as well. Well, I'd love to see Purdue win it, but Auburn's going to beat them. They're just better. And I don't think Purdue really finished well. So, I got Purdue. All right, look at you. Well, hey, the head coach could have gone to Louisville, so to his credit, staying at Purdue. Also on Friday the 28th, the Camping World Bowl, West Virginia and Syracuse. <laughs> Camping World Bowl. <laughs> Does everybody uh, no. get a motorhome that goes to that game? They get a tent. <laughs> wow, I'd rather take the motorhome. <laughs> I mean, actually, that's the name of the stadium. Is that the name of the, is that is that who has the naming rights in Orlando now? I didn't know I, that. I didn't know. Yes, yes. So this will be the same stadium yeah. where the Citrus Bowl is going to be played, correct? Right. It's there'll be three bowl games played in that stadium: the Cure Bowl, the Camping World Bowl, and then the Citrus Bowl. You're going to change the field before Penn State takes a field, do you think? Or there, it's all field turf now. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I told you the story about Penn State played the last game ever in there without field turf. Oh, that's right. The game the was game, yeah. gigantic chunks of turf are coming up. It's raining. Yeah. So I walk by and the guy says, "Oh, really sorry about how the turf went." He says, "You know, he says we're replacing that turf next year." I said, "You're a year too late." <laughs> <laughs> and got on the bus and left. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Syracuse in this game. I'm going Syracuse as well. No Will Greer. Yep. 
I went West Virginia. Atta boy. Steve, you got West Virginia? No, I got Syracuse. I, Will Greer's not going to play. Oh, Kevin, you got West Virginia? Yeah, I have West Virginia. Okay, I got Syracuse. Without the quarterback, West Virginia's not the same. So. Okay. Well, the Alamo Bowl, same Kevin day. Kevin will get it right. <laughs> well, that, that, the only the reason I picked that. The quarterback's better. <laughs> the, the only reason I picked that, knowing exactly what Steve said, was because I knew you guys were going to go with Syracuse then, and I needed it, I needed it out. Okay. I like the spirit of Syracuse this year. So, anyway, we got to hurry. We do. Friday the 28th, yeah. Alamo Bowl, Iowa State and Washington State. Fight, fight, fight for Washington State. That's your game, your team. Yeah, you, you know I've been big on Washington State all year. I'm taking them. I mean, I wasn't exactly overwhelmed by Iowa State's performance against Drake. <laughs> this is gonna be my upset pick. I'm taking Iowa State. Ooh, I got Washington State. Okay. Saturday the 29th, the Belk Bowl, South Carolina and Virginia. I have Virginia because South Carolina is another one of those teams, and every time I've seen them, they disappointed me. Another upset pick for me. I'm going South Carolina. Who are they playing? South Carolina and Virginia. Uh, I'll go South Carolina. I got Virginia. I have done no research on this. <laughs> I have all i done. I'm just throwing darts. <laughs> also on Saturday, December the 29th, the Arizona Bowl. It's Nevada. And Arkansas State. Okay. I'll go with Nevada only because I think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you, you got to know I'm going Arkansas State. <laughs> oh, man. I hope this is the one that crushes you. I'm taking Nevada. I got Arkansas State. Wow. All right. They got a great running back. No, actually, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded believable. I go with those former FCS schools. <laughs> All right, New Year's Eve games. By the way, we I did not. Yeah, uh, by mistake, I didn't. I I know the Peach Bowl okay. is on the 29th, but I'm lumping them in with all the New Year's Six games. Oh, right. We will circle back to the Peach Bowl. I promise. New Year's Eve, the 31st, the Military Bowl at Cincinnati and Virginia Tech. I'm going Cincinnati. I got Cincinnati as well. I'll take Cincinnati. I don't think Virginia Tech's very good. No. <laughs> I got uh, Cincinnati also. Okay. Clean sweep on Cincinnati. The Red Box Bowl on New Year's Eve. It is Michigan State and Oregon. The winner gets unlimited rentals for a year. <laughs> What's a Red Box? Red Box is the uh, DVD machine, the automated DVD machine that sends outside of stores. You rent them for uh, like a dollar store. and a quarter. Uh, they got their own bowl game? They, they this do. This year they do. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, cool. I'm going Michigan State. I got Oregon. I'm going Oregon. I have Oregon. So, Sean, you got Michigan State? I've got Sparty Solo, yes. <laughs> also, New Year's Eve, the Liberty Bowl, Missouri, and Oklahoma State. I'm going Oklahoma State. Really? Wow, that one surprises me, because I picked Oklahoma State as well, figuring you guys would go the other direction. I'm going Missouri. I got Missouri. All right, we are split on that one. Also on New Year's Eve, the Holiday Bowl, Northwestern, and Utah. Two runners up. This is like the old playoff bowl in the 60s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the runner-up runner bowl. Up. Yes, right, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Northwestern, because Clayton Thorson, at quarterback. I mean, honest to goodness, the Utah-Washington game and the Pac-12 championship game could have been a worse game. Look, a first down. Hey, Joe Tessador, first down! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going with the Utes. Utes, two Utes. <laughs> you you do Utah. know you do know that part of the thing is you do have to score. <laughs> Steve, who did you take? I have no uh, idea. I, who I picked you Northwestern. Take. I picked Northwestern. Northwestern. Hey, you do know Utah's Kevin, gonna you have to Utah? score. I, I think their defense is gonna keep them in it. <laughs> King Utah? King okay, my, Sean, who do you have? King, myself, and Suit took Utah. Steve took Northwestern. Okay. I picked the team that that, that can score. <laughs> okay. The Pac-12 championship game had one touchdown on an interception return. 
defense wins championships. It's, it's, and, it and does the not. And, and you know what? And that does not. That's one of the biggest. <laughs> you know what? Guess what? In the in the modern in modern sports, offense now wins. The, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. That's true. King, who you got? What's in, I got Utah. Utah. Utah, okay. Oh, oh, I we Steve is solo uh, on Northwestern. Yeah, we got to hustle, guys. If we're going to do the NFL, too, we, we got, got like five minutes. We're good. We got eight minutes. We're good. New Year's Eve. It's either the Tax Slayer Bowl or the Gator Bowl, one of the two. <laughs> Texas A&M and North Carolina State. <laughs> it's actually a combination now. <laughs> okay. They change, change sponsors it's at quarters. Slayer or Tax Gator Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> But I wanted to sponsor the first half. <laughs> I'm going well, Texas this is like, A&M. <laughs> this is like this is like the Peach Bowl guys. They were they were would, for the college football playoff. Chick Fil A was told they could not get a playoff game if they didn't put the name of the bowl in there. Oh. That's why they brought Peach Bowl back. The Gator Bowl would like to be involved somewhere down the line when they rebid this thing. That's why they put Gator back in it. Well, I went with Texas A&M. I'll go with Texas A&M as well. I won't tell Gary Hahn when I see him on Saturday. He's the <laughs> NC State play-by-play guy. King, who you got? I got Texas A&M. Okay, that is a sweep. Okay, New Year's Day. Or, I'm sorry, we're still on New Year's Eve. The Sun Bowl, it's Pitt and Stanford. Stanford, can't pit Pitt. I, it's, it, listen, I've seen... I'm, contra- I'm contractually <laughs> obligated. I can understand that, and I respect that. I do. But, you know, I've seen Pitt several times this year. I can't figure him out. I went with Stanford. David Shaw, great coach. Stanford. I got Stanford. All right, that is also a clean sweep. All right, now we're heading into New Year's Day games. The Outback Bowl, Mississippi State and Iowa. 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 I'm going Mississippi State. I got Mississippi State. Okay, we are. Split. I don't think I, I don't think Mississippi State can score. And I love and you know how much I love Joe. And yes. I was just saying I, I'm in the same boat with you. Yeah, I, and I the same and, and, yeah, and the same thing with Bob. I mean Bob Shoop. I mean I think the world of both those guys, but I just I don't know. I don't see it. I, I, I'm with you. Normally, I would have picked Mississippi State because I've had a chance to watch him coach for years at both levels now. But I, I'm with you. I like Iowa. I think we have an idea. Uh, I have an idea as to who we're going to go on this one. Citrus Bowl, WKOK, New Year's Day, 1 p.m. kick, 11.30 airtime. It is Kentucky and the Nittany Lions. You idiots don't pick Penn State. I'm walking out. Well, listen, I'm going to tell you (laughs) something, Steve. I liked Kentucky early in the season, but I didn't by the middle and the end of the season. I still would pick Penn State anyway, but I'll tell you what, I think Kentucky earlier in the season might have been a little bit more entertaining. They've kind of fallen off. Penn State will win by 17 points. Move on. (laughs) I got Penn State. King? Penn State, but don't forget Appalachian State, Steve. <laughs> Lucky to get out of that one. Uh, and Michigan State beat Penn State, and they stink. So you talk about teams that can't score. Michigan State cannot score, and they beat Penn State. So well, I don't can, think uh, this is yeah. such a big shoe win. So. I think, they'll beat, I'll be, I think they'll beat Kentucky because I think that, uh, the, actually, believe it or not, Penn State's playing not good but great defense right now. Okay, now let's get into the New Year's Six games. We're going to circle back to December the 29th. High noon, that's Saturday, the Peach Bowl. It is Florida and Michigan. Okay, Florida has has nine wins. They should not be in this game. They should not be in the New Year's Six. I agree. Because they have seven FBS wins, two FCS yep. wins. I, to me, again, I don't get what this committee does. I don't get it. I mean, but whatever. Michigan will beat them. Michigan. Yeah, I, I, it's against my against my grain, but I take Michigan too. Yeah, I got Michigan. Yeah. No question. Florida, Florida won't score on this team. Yeah, Florida just didn't. I, I mean, I haven't been overly impressed with Florida. Felipe yeah. Franks. I mean, he'll spend most of the day backing up. (laughs) Also on New Year's Day at 1 p.m., it is the Fiesta Bowl. UCF coming in with a 25-game winning streak. They take on LSU. Will the Tigers break the streak? LSU. Yep. I say the streak is over. I agree with you. LSU. King. Uh, If UCF's quarterback didn't get hurt, I'd have taken him. Yep. But, uh... I got LSU. Clean sweep. Yeah, I'll give the backup. I'll give the backup credit. Backups play pretty well. 
But I, I agree I with Kevin. Kevin. I, I, I would have done the same thing. You know what? I'm going to go on a limb. I'm going to change mine. I'm going to take right. UCF. He's played. I mean, he it is quite. A, he stepped in. He's played pretty well. Yeah, you know, I'm it's just, just, just gonna, not the same. Ah, oh, here I go with that super epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Four <laughs> games to go here in less than three minutes, guys. Rose Bowl, the granddaddy of them all. Ohio State, Ohio's, Urban Meyer's final game. I talked, game to, uh, with I talked to Paul. Ke- Paul Keels and I had a long talk today. Ohio State will not only win; they will crush this team like a grape. OSU. Me too. Ohio. Yeah. Sugar Bowl on New Year's night, Georgia and Texas. Georgia will crush this team like a grape. <laughs> I, I was going with a peach, but okay. That works, too. I like Georgia. Georgia. I got Georgia. Okay, clean sweep there as well. All right, we're down to two. The national semifinals on Saturday, the 29th of December. The opener at 4 p.m., the Cotton Bowl from Jerry World. It is Clemson and Notre Dame. Clemson. Clemson. I got Notre Dame. Steve or Sean? I pick, or I pick Clemson. Kevin picked Notre Dame. Kevin took Notre Dame. Good I took, pick. and I took Clemson. I got Clemson. And in the other semifinal, Orange Bowl, it is Alabama and Oklahoma, Tua versus Murray. Well, I'll be in Tuscaloosa next week, so there's no way I'm not picking against Alabama because I want to be able to get out of there. <laughs> Plus, that'll increase our chances of having Eli back on the show. <laughs> yes, it will. That's right. <laughs> although I know, although I'm friends with Toby Rowland. That's right. Oklahoma, Oklahoma's guy. Toby and I are friends. Oh. Alabama. King. Alabama's going to continue scoring. They're going to score over 100 points. <laughs> In basketball. <laughs> no, Have you seen the Big Twelve more. play? <laughs> the Big Twelve. The Big Twelve is like it's 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 basketball on grass. We got pick football picks too, man. Uh, so we thirty seconds took to go. Alabama. Oh. We all took Alabama. Yeah, I've got the Chargers tonight. Char uh, Chiefs. Oh. I got, I got Sh- Chargers. I got Chicklemy over Lords. Good for you. <laughs> then I'll worry about the Chargers game. <laughs> Pat Steelers. Patriots. Patriots. Uh, I'm not picking that one. Uh, <laughs> I can't. Uh, Sean? Uh, I'm taking the Patriots. I can't. I just don't see the Steelers winning this. Uh, I, I just don't. I just don't. You're listening to News Radio 1070 WKOK Sunbury. You can hear us anywhere in the world with the Sunbury Broadcasting Corporation app.